Now let's begin the abnormality in the x-rays. In chest x-rays in the lung fields, the lungs appear black because lung has air which gives a black shadow. If there is too much of black shadow, we call it radiolucency. While most of the abnormal shadows are white shadows, these are called opacities. There can be opacity because of the normal structures of the within the mediastinum also like heart, like diaphragm. So opacities need not be abnormal, but when they are abnormal, they are called opacities. They are described by various descriptive terms. It's important to understand the descriptive term and the meaning of it. When you say cotton wool or fluffy, they are just like threads of cotton and these are the ones we'll discuss in detail about the pathological significance. Right now, only the different types of opacities keep in mind. One is cotton wool or fluffy. Sometimes the word uses infiltration, fluffy infiltration or cotton wool infiltration. These are usually indicative of active pulmonary tuberculosis. Then homogeneous opacity is something that you are likely to encounter most often. The homogeneous opacity means the whiteness of the entire opacity in your view is uniform. It may also show air bronchogram. What we mean by air bronchogram is within that white opacity, homogeneous opacity, you might find few streaks of radiolucency that is called air bronchogram. So we have shown three different types of opacities in this, one on the right and two lower downs. All three are white opacities, but the one on the left corner is rounded and there is no air bronchogram. One in the right below that rounded opacity is again dense homogeneous without air bronchogram, while the one on the left side is an opacity with air bronchogram. So these are the opacities. Opacity with air bronchogram is indicative of consolidation or pneumonia. We'll talk later. There may be opacity and radiolucency seen with sharp border separating the two shadows. This is usually seen whenever there is air and fluid level. It may be inside the lung, then it is usually an abscess or a cavity, or if it is outside the lung in the pleural cavity, it suggests hydropneumothorax. Opacities may be seen, which are very small, tiny, just like heads of the pin. These are the ones as shown. Or sometimes the opacity may have to be described like small, thin walled, honeycomb like, or bunch of grapes like opacities. Sometimes the opacities are like hard calcified plaques or too dark without any again air bronchogram. And sometimes you'll find opacities of different varieties, different size in both the lungs, rounded opacities. These are generally suggestive of metastasis in the lung. So let's begin with different opacities indicating different diseases. This one x-ray in your view suggests many cotton wool type of or fluffy opacities in both sides of the lung. Rest of the lungs appear normal. So this is a case of tuberculosis in all probability and active pulmonary tuberculosis. Next is an opacity where you can see there is cotton wool opacity elsewhere, but in the right, if you concentrate the right apex around the clavicle region, you can see that there is a rounded fibrocavitary lesion. This, you can also see the right apex, the ribs are little crowded. So this suggests a chronic lesions. So this is a patient with fibrocavitary pulmonary tuberculosis. Maybe there is also an active infection. This is the opacity most commonly asked. These are very small, tiny pinhead opacities, which are very small, tiny, maybe about a millimeter or two. And they are spread in both the lung fields. The diagnosis is usually considered as miliary tuberculosis, miliary tuberculosis or miliary mottling. And important question that follows your answer is, what are the differential diagnosis of such miliary shadows? Whenever you find such tiny shadows, the answer of differential diagnosis of miliary mottling is tropical eosinophilia, which is very common in our country. Tropical eosinophilia, well, the patient has high number of eosinophil counts in the peripheral smear. He presents with breathlessness and cough. He responds very well to the treatment for uh, eosinophilia in the form of dithyl carbamazine. Pulmonary hemosidrosis as a delayed complications of recurrent episodes of pulmonary edema. 
in patients with valvular heart disease patient has alveolar exudates then patient gets few small calcific spots remaining into the alveoli and later seen as pulmonary hemosiderosis sarcoidosis is a granulomatous disease supposed to be not that common in india but usually it gives not only the nodular or small opening but sometimes there is thread like that is nodulo reticular opacities but sarcoidosis also come in the differential diagnosis of miliary mottling then histoplasmosis is a one kind of fungal infection by histoplasma capsulatum this is an infection not very common routinely but maybe there in patients in the setting of hiv in acute infections you might get this kind of miliary mottling 